Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the visit of the delegation of the Republic of Western Armenia to Yarabulur. The historian Angela Teryan's History of the Country of Ararat book presentation. Mayor General Arkady Tertadevosyan posthumously bestowed with National Hero of Armenia title. Wedding in the Mountains operation started on this day in 1992, Armenia Shushi was liberated. Turkish Defense Ministry uses the word genocide, responding to Latvia's decision then deletes it. Waterfalls flowing for years have dried up in Chernak, Western Armenia. May 8 as World Red Cross and Red Crescent Day. Let's support Western Armenia TV. In November 1997, at the first conference of Yegrapa Volunteer Union, a decision was made to celebrate May 8 as Yegrapa Day. During the years of the Artsakh Liberation War, the Yekrapov Volunteer Detachments, uniting around one idea under the command of Commander Vazgen Sarksyan, did their job with glory. On May 8, the Freedom Fighters of Yekrapov Volunteer Union, Sasun Mikhailian, the head of Standing Committee on Defense and Security of National Assembly, Andriani Kocharyan, the delegation of the Republic of Western Armenia, headed by Armena Gabrahamian, visited Yerablur to incense the memory of the victims of the Artsakh War. The historian Angela Terian's History of the Country of Ararat book presentation took place in the hall of the Central Library after Avetik Isahakyan. The book describes the history of one of the oldest nations in the world. The High Armens shrouded in secrets discovered a little. According to the author of the book, the state of Ararat existed in the Armenian highlands, on which the city of Arata was an integral part. Armenians have lived for thousands of years in the Armenian states existing on the Armenian highlands, such as Ararat, Hayasan, Nairi, Mitani, Haik, in Centra. The President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armena Abrahamian, was also present at the book presentation. President of Armenia, Armen Sarkisyan, signed a decree on posthumously awarding Mayor General, Hero of Artsakh, Arkady Tertadevosyan, with the Order of Motherland for his exclusive services provided to the creation, development of the Armenian Armed Forces, the protection and security of the homeland. The presidential office said on Facebook, The Order of Motherland is awarded for exceptional services of nationwide importance rendered to the Republic of Armenia in the spheres of the defense of the state and strengthening of law and order, as well as for creation of significant national values. Person awarded with the Order of Motherland is considered a national hero of Armenia. The military operation for the liberation of Shushi started on May 8, 1992 and ended brilliantly on May 9, according to the plan developed by headquarters of the Artsakh Republic Self-Defense Forces, stopping the enemy's progress in the southwestern direction of Stepanakert in the evening of May 7. The next morning, the Armenian units launched a counterattack in four directions, northern, eastern, southern and northwest. The general commander of the military action was Arkady Tertadevosyan. Head of the staff was Felix Kazogyan. Based on the military decision, the Armenian forces were at the disposal of up to 1,200 personnel. An order was given to start artillery preparation at 2.50. On the morning of March 8, fierce fighting broke out along the front line from Jan Hassan to Kirs. Due to the decisive actions of the units under clear control, the enemy was thrown out of his positions near the city within hours inflicting losses and taking the retreat. Around soon, the defense of Shushi was broken from the northeast, and the city center was under the control of the Armenian forces already at 6 p.m. During the operation, the Armenian side had 46 casualties, 68 wounded, 2 missing, 1 T-72 tank, and 1 rear-end combat vehicle. On the morning of May 9, the Armenian fortress city was completely under the control of self-defense forces. 28 years later, Armenia Shushi fell under the control of the enemy again. However, the Armenian wearer is still standing. Our compatriots spread all over the world are determined. The day is not far when the ancient Armenian fortress city will be Armenian again. Internal glory to our heroes. The Turkish Defense Ministry used the word genocide on its Twitter page, responding to the adoption of the declaration recognizing the genocide against the Armenians by the Latvian parliament, but a few minutes later delays the note. Armen Press reports, the Greek City Times informs, publishing the screenshot of the Turkish Defense Ministry's Twitter note. We reject and do not recognize the Latvian Parliament's decision on the genocide. Read the Twitter page of the Turkish Defense Ministry. Latvia officially recognized and condemned the genocide against Armenians on May 6. 
58 out of 100 members of the SEMA voted in favor of the resolution. Drought has started in Chernak province, western Armenia. The waterfalls flowing for years have dried up as a result of the lack of precipitation. Recently, the Becha Ghaj waterfall of Beitu Shebab district of Chernak has dried up for the first time. The amount of the drought through waterfalls and rivers is seen through satellites. Nature photographer Lokman Gyokche mentioned that he sees the waterfall dried up for the first time. We visit here every year to take photos, but this year, although spring, the waterfalls and streams have dried up. I hope we will overcome the consequences, Gyokche told. World Red Cross Red Crescent Day is celebrated on 8 May each year. This date is the anniversary of the birth of Henry Dunant, the founder of International Committee of the Red Cross and the recipient of the first Nobel Peace Prize, Kellen reports. In the middle of the 19th century, Dunant initiated the first group of volunteers to help those wounded on the battlefield. And in 1863, on his initiative, a conference was convened to establish the International Committee of the Red Cross. The official name of the International Red Cross was established in 1928 at the 13th International Conference in The Hague. Dear followers and dear compatriots, this day in 1992 had a historical significance for all Armenians. The Armenian nation entered the 20th century with the horror of the Turkish Slav, surviving deprivation of homeland and the genocide organized against it in Western Armenia. At the end of the century, our heroic people found strength in themselves and created glorious victories during the First Artsakh War, the end of which was the liberation of the ancient Armenian fortress city of Shushi. Three decades later, again facing the aggression of Turkish genocidal criminal states, we lost a number of regions, such as Shushi and the Republic of Artsakh in 2020. This course of history once again proves that only together we can solve the challenges facing our nation. The state television company of Western Armenia is not engaged in self-promotion. Our goal is to become a connecting link for our millions of compatriots around the world, giving them the opportunity to gain patriotism, national awareness, to stand up for our national rights. We need everyone's support in this work. We lost the battle, but not the war. We will achieve new victories with our unity and determination. Glory to our marchers. Now we present you Leran Lanjin by Nersik Ispiyan. Leran Lanjin khoran irumen fidayin er havitian Azad kan el misirumen zavak nera banutian Yeke ganak hayak shigner hasnik ayn teksim leran Az ki pashpan fedayin er mezi hamar kun madan Yeke ganak hayak shigner hasnik ayn teksim leran Az ki pashpan fedayin er mezi hamar kun madan the full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.